information tonight. Some of our most vulnerable neighbors may go hungry after even more cuts to state programs. The Department of Human Services says state budget cuts starting this month are enough to put 300,000 meals at risk for the elderly. Well, to Works 2 reporter Tony Russell shows us how seniors who depend on these hot meals are really unsure about what happens next. This site here in Muskogee is just one of several in a seven county area where we learned $195,000 was cut from a program that provides hot meals for senior citizens at places like this at the Rayfield Baptist Church and also around surrounding areas where they're actually delivering the food to people at their homes. The site manager tells me she's never seen a threat like this to her program before. Every day during lunch, a line forms inside the community room at the Rayfield Baptist Church. For some senior citizens, this is the only meal they get during the week. When you do it 41 years, they become like a family. Ice right here. Shirley Maxey grew up serving seniors these hot lunches five days a week. She now oversees the kitchen operations that help get 500 meals a day prepared for people in the community. The site is operated by the Area Agency on Aging and the Eastern Oklahoma Development District. DHS says nearly two million of that budget cut goes to contract nutrition programs like this one in Muskogee. I don't know how they can sleep at night taking meals from these elderly people. Judy Stanberry has been going to the lunch at the church for five years. A lot of us pick up seniors who have no way to get here and we bring them down here. And like I said, they'll wrap pieces of food to take home so they can have something to eat for supper. Look who's coming in late. Cedric Johnson is a retired high school principal. We are elderly people who have paid our taxes religiously, supported it religiously, and now when it comes time to just get a little bit of help, you don't want to do it. DHS says the cuts go beyond the nutrition program with cuts to social services like foster care and adoption reimbursements. But there could be hope, DHS says, that it received $4.2 million in return state dollars. I'm told it's still early to determine if that money could be pumped back into senior programs like this one. In Muskogee, Tony Russell, two works for you.